welcome in five minute reviews during these five minutes what we will do we will dive into various topics related to dotnet mostly dotnet performance area and we will do our best to try to present you some interesting topics and some interesting features of the dotnet platform today's topic it will be spun helpers a single method of spun helpers uh, called or named contains probably you are familiar with spanification it's the process of introducing spans or overloads of different methods accepting spans to various places in a dotnet framework and a basic class library it's done to introduce less allocations and enable using spans and spans are good because there are, there are uh, a synchronous provider over um, a specific memory region. The memory region can be an array, it can be a, a chunk of array, like in the past we use array segment, it can be also an, a piece of unmanaged memory. So whatever kind of memory you can come up with and you want a region, a piece of it, you can use um, span to basically wrap it and then when you have span you can use all the spanified apis that are still being added to uh, .NET on daily basis so today we won't take a look at span helpers and span helpers that's a, a class that it's internal to the uh, .NET runtime um, internal to the .NET repo as you can see in here but it's used in various places and one of the most interesting methods that we can take a look is the method called contains so you can imagine that you have a span uh, so whenever you have a span you can take a reference uh, to an item inside of this span so that would be the search space you can search for a specific value that would be the value and you know that you are searching through the specified number of items so that would be length if we take a look how it's done we will see that there is whoa some some really interesting optimizations in here and one of the most important optimizations that you can do and you, you can probably notice in here is the loop unrolling so instead of doing like four i equals zero till it's less than length at all that stuff what we can do is that we can chunk our search into ranges that are a bit bigger than one so at the very beginning we will what we will do we will test whether the length is greater or equal than eight if it is we will just decrease it um, by eight and the following code will use unsafe add to navigate through the search space unsafe add does the um, let's call it unsafe operation just adding a specific index to the search space and then we it will call the equals so you can see that there is actually only that the condition of the length is checked only once in here and it's followed by eight operations that search for the specific value if it's found we will use the not so commonly found um, go to statement then if we know that the length is less than eight we will probe is it greater than four if it's greater greater than four we will unroll the loop again now we will use the four as the step size so we will see the following four equals in here again if it's found we will go to the found um, and the last but not least we can have like zero one two or three elements that are left so we will go through this uh, again as you can see the length is checked once every eight comparisons then every four comparisons and then for the last zero one two or three comparisons every single time again all these optimizations are possible because if you have uh, a span again span as a synchronous accessor of a specific chunk of memory you can obtain the reference to it no matter is it managed unmanaged whatever so using this using the unsafe add that basically adds the reference moves it 
uh, by the specific index using the loop, loop unrolling, uh, you can notice that the contents is quite likely to be quite fast. Thank you and see you soon.